In the first layers video, we looked at how to create a new layer, how to delete a layer, and at layer effects. In this video, we'll look at some more uses of the layers palette. In the first video, we looked at showing and hiding a layer by clicking and deselecting this check mark. We looked at how to create a new layer by clicking the new layer icon and how to delete that new layer by clicking the trash icon. We also looked at some layer effects, layer styles using this icon. I want to show you how to rename a layer. You'll see that all of the layers in this picture have meaningful names. That's because it makes it much easier to know which one you're going to because these are little. If this was layer 6, layer 7, layer 8, it would be much, much harder to manage. So I'm just going to rename by double-clicking on the name, and then we have a text editor, and I'll just change this name to Big Goods, just to show you how that's done. So just double-click on a layer name to change it. It is really best practice to make sure that you give your layers meaningful names. As you get into more sophisticated work, a Photoshop document can have to up to 8,000 layers. I don't know what the maximum is for Pixel R, but it's more than you can keep track of by just remembering. We can also move layers up and down. Layers, remember, are a series of transparent sheets. The reason we can see the boy on the tractor is that he is laying in front of the barn layer. If I were to move that layer by pointing to it and dragging it down beneath the barn, all of a sudden he's no longer visible. He's still a piece of the file, but we can't see him because he's hidden by the opaque barn layer. I'll just undo that, and there he comes back up. And I did that by clicking the last step in the history panel. We can also move objects on the picture, providing we're on the right layer. So here we're on the boy on tractor layer, so I can move him, providing I have the move tool active, by just dragging him around. Let's say we're going to send him for a ride in the fields. And now let's move the farmer over to the barn door. And we'll make that farmer smaller. Now, if we want to move the big goods, we have to go to the big goods layer. We'll confirm those changes. Come to the big goods layer. Again, we'll choose free transform and make those smaller. And we'll move them over to next to the farmer. And we want the farmer behind them. Let me just confirm that. See, he looks as if he's sitting on the goods. So we'll just pull him down. And now he's behind them. More realistic. So you see how that works. You have to have, have to be on the right layer to work with the object that's on that layer. And it's a very good idea to name your layers. And you can move the layers up and down the stack to control the appearance of your document. This layer here, the background layer, is present in every Pixlr document. It might be white, it might be black, or it might be transparent. It can be deleted, but only after you unlock it. See this padlock? If you double-click that, that unlocks it, and then it can be deleted. It doesn't do any harm. It acts like a piece of white paper underpinning all of the rest of your document. But of course, the more layers, the bigger your file size. I just wanted to add one thing, and that's a text layer. Let me just put, I put it, created a new layer. I'll put it up at the top. Well, I'll have to drag the country like one down. There we go. Okay, and I'm going to hit the text button. And let me just show you. I'll just click where I want the text to go. And now I'll type the text. 
pulling this dialog box up allows me to format it. I'm going to make this very small. Let me move this so we can see the effects that are going on. And I'll change its color to green. And I'll make it bold italic. That green doesn't show at all, does it? I'll just change that to something else. Well, red will show. And click OK. And I'm going to get the Move tool and just drag this over to the corner. And there's my name, just to show you how to do text. OK, so that's a basic introduction to layers. In Pixlr or Photoshop, they work pretty much the same.